Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft Forge for any version of Minecraft. So uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, some people might need help and uh, also because the website itself just updated and uh, I mean it's pretty easy still but uh, some people might get confused. Uh, so firstly what you want to do is visit the description and under downloads there will be one link. You want to click that link and uh, that's just going to take you to the Forge website and uh, this is where you get the Forge mod loader. Uh, but before you do that, what you want to do is uh, find out which version of Forge you want. Uh, so say 1.7.2, and uh, if that's the case, you go to Minecraft, and uh, you basically just want to run 1.7.2 at least once, or whatever version you're installing. So, you know, uh, 1.7.10, then you run 1.7.10, and uh, so forth. So how you do that is press new profile and uh, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, preferably delete because you're probably going to delete it afterwards as uh, the only reason you're creating is is just to install Forge. Um, so yeah, and then you want to click use version, click this arrow here and uh, then just select which version of Forge you're installing. So uh, say 1.7.2, just tick that, then save and then you just want to select that and then press play. And uh, this will basically get you all the files, and uh, once you've got this, you can install 1.7.2 or Forge. Okay, so once it's done, you can press quit, and uh, now that we have the 1.7.2 version, it means we can now install the 1.7.2 version of Forge. Uh, so basically all you have to do is press download, or just go down here, and uh, then whatever version you're installing, so say 1.4.1 you just go to 1.4 and then 1.4.1 and just click on that uh, for this instant I'm doing 1.7.2 so uh, as you can see I've already ran the 1.7.2 version which I needed to do and then you go to 1.7 then 1.7.2 and uh, let that load and uh, then it's going to come up with download latest or recommended and uh, you usually should go for the recommended but uh, you know it sort of depends but uh, yeah basically uh, you just click on the installer win here so the windows icon uh, you just click that for either one so I'm just gonna go for the recommended so click the installer win uh, you can also go for the like other ones but uh, this is probably the most easiest as you just you know click on it uh, so yeah then you have to wait five seconds then click skip and uh, then it's gonna download so uh, once it's downloaded you can drag that to the desktop and uh, I might also download just another one just to show you how it doesn't work if you haven't run the version already which we did so okay so uh, here we have the 1.7.10 version and uh, if we drag that to the desktop and then run it you will see that as we haven't ran the 1.7.10 version yet uh, which we did for the 1.7.2 it won't actually work uh, so if we just drag it to the desktop then double click as you can see then if we press ok it's gonna say you need to run the version 1.7.10 manually at least once so that's what you have to do and uh, that's what we did before so you can delete that and uh, then get the version you're actually doing and uh, then you just want to double click on it and uh, then tick install client and then just press OK and uh, as you can see it's doing it because we have ran the 1.7.2 version at least once okay so once it's done it's gonna say complete and uh, you just wanna press OK and uh, then you can delete this file because you're done with it so just chuck it in the bin uh, then you just open Minecraft and uh, yeah you're basically done uh, so as you can see if we click this arrow here there will be a new profile called uh, Forge and uh, that's obviously 1.7.2 Forge and uh, as you can see we have the other profile which we just made to install this version of Forge so uh, we can delete that by going to the profile editor and then just right click on a delete and then deleting it and then yes and uh, yeah uh, that's basically it so uh, then to run it you just select it and press play okay so that's basically it as you can see it's installed so all you have to do really is uh, run the version you're getting and uh, then basically just run the installer for that version so yeah, uh, if it didn't work for any reason, please leave a comment. I mean, it's very, very simple, so you shouldn't have any problems. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all.